bro, listen to this. So, I, I'm, I'm sitting out here, you know, I have the kids out here. We're just getting some sunshine, you're right. And this guy comes up, pretty cute, pretty cute, decently cute. And he was just, he saw the kids and everything, you know, and we were talking. He was like, oh, are you babysitting these two? And I go, no, they're mine. They're mine, bro. And then... He was talking to me and he was like, well, what do you do? And I was just telling him what I do for work. And he was like, well, what does your husband do for work? I know, I know, I'm, I'm, I know. I'm fine, I know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty. You would think I'd be married and have kids, right? No, I'm a single mom, baby. I'm a single mom. <laughs> I've started doing this thing where I take myself out to dinner. So, I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on. I honestly wasn't gonna put makeup on, but if I was actually going on a out on a date, I would. So I'm like, I need to do the same, even if I'm just taking myself out on a date. So Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is about single mothers. Now, I have to be honest, I sympathize with single mothers. Uh, I think that they have a lot of work to do. I think that they go through really big hardships, right? It's not easy out there. Uh, they have it hard. They have to take care of a kid. Uh, oftentimes, they, they haven't done any mistakes to get in that place, right? Talking about widows, uh, another woman that just, you know, face the adversities of life, and the husband just is is not around on earth anymore. Uh, those cases, however, that I do sympathize with, are like one or two percent at best, if we're being generous. But today, guys, we're not going to talk about widows. We're not going to talk about these traditional wives, really good uh, mothers who just happen to lose the father of the of the kid. Today we're going to talk about the 98%, the rest of the cases, which is women just making bad mistakes. That's all it is. It's just them being sometimes entitled, sometimes delusional, uh, sometimes wanting to upgrade their husband, uh, and they're left with nothing. So let's start, gentlemen, and let's see. Bro, listen to this. So, I, I'm, I'm sitting out here, you know, I have the kids out here, we're just getting some sunshine, you're right? And this guy comes up, pretty cute, pretty cute, decently cute, and he was like, looking for yard work to do around the neighborhood, and I was like, oh, I, I just live here, I'll have to ask my parents, but like, I usually do the yard work, so please, come do our yard work. And... He was just, he saw the kids and everything, you know, and we were talking. He was like, oh, are you babysitting these two? And I go, no, they're mine. They're mine, bro. And then he was talking to me and he was like, well, what do you do? And I was just telling him what I do for work. And he was like, well, what does your husband do for work? I know, I know, I'm, I'm, I know. I'm fine, I know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty. You would think I'd be married and have kids, right? No, I'm a single mom, baby. I'm a single mom, I'm a single mom, all right? I mean, this guy, <laughs> quite confused. I don't blame him, uh, if he, especially if he was maybe some old gentleman, uh, which I don't think he is in the case. But yeah, especially people from older generations, sometimes they cannot understand how a woman is already a single mother in her early 20s. Like, when did you have the time? Now, notice, gentlemen, how women will say that the, the best age to find a serious partner is around 30, right? When they're in their 20s, it's time for the hot girl summers, it's time for the going to clubs and all of that, having your fun, being liberated. For them, for modern women, the best age to start looking for someone serious is at 30. Yet notice the incredible amount of single mothers we have in their early 20s. So you don't have time to find a good serious man in your 20s because oh i'm i'm grinding you know i'm climbing the corporate ladder it's too early for me I, I don't want to be you know tied to a chain to a marriage yet somehow those same rules don't apply uh when they have that one kid um in that one night they didn't use protection with chad or, or they just straight up decide to marry the 
the guy who is extremely unavailable, thinking that they have finally caught on to him, uh, only for him to go buy some milk afterwards, you know what I mean? And most of these women are not even in marriages, it's just the kid is a product of mistakes. <laughs> you know, as sad as it sounds, it's just how it is. So really interesting there, they don't have time for the good guys in their 20s, yet they always make up time for that one char that then leaves them with a kid and flees away. Interesting. I know though, my umbrella right? I'm too pretty to be a single mom. I'm crazy enough to be a single Update on dating that no one asked for, but I'll give it anyways. Um, I have definitely been softly rejected. Um, they texted me on my birthday. We have again the septum piercing, which is the piercing on the nose that usually cows and pigs wear. So maybe this woman uh, just feels feels represented uh, by, by these animals. Which, not to throw any shade at these animals, man. Uh, but if there's one guy, because I've never seen or heard about a man who likes the septum piercing, there is one out there, just one, watching this video. Can you please leave a comment down below? I'll pin it if I see one. You know, mention why you like those piercings. Not to make fun of you, absolutely not. Uh, you can have your bad stylistic choices and preferences in women, it's absolutely alright. I'm just interested, is there a man on planet Earth that likes this septum piercing. Saying happy birthday. And I said, thanks for remembering. Um, let me know if you want to go out soon. And they wrote, yeah, for sure. I'll let you know when things in my life chill out. Yeah. I just wish people were more honest. And just be like, you know what? I'm not really interested anymore. That's it. Oh. Just tell me you're not interested. I don't need to be left to linger back here, okay? Um, yeah, and don't listen to your friends because now I'm left with this gay manicure for no reason. Super fun. It's always so funny when, like, one woman gets the, the, the treatment that men get throughout their whole life. You know, <laughs> it's like, oh, first time. Oh, you've been ghosted? Really? Well, tell me more about it. You know, acting all surprised, all the gentlemen here. Like, when it happens to women once, they lose their minds. They start with the, come on, guys, uh, let's be more honest. Come on, boys, uh, why are you playing these games? You know, we are mature, we are old. Yet, they do this to men all the time like if you've been on dating apps leave a comment if you have never been ghosted leave a comment if you have never been played on just to uh, pay for the meal or kept as an orbiter that can eventually provide something or even you're not even seeing these women they just keep you in, in their chats uh to to shower them with attention and validation you know they do this all the time all the time Yet when they get to 30, eventually, you know, when they hit the wall, this one guy will do the same to them. And then we have a problem. Then we start those conversations of, come on, boys, uh, let, let's be adults here. But now, guys, let's go to this other woman that is dating herself. Extremely sad, but let's find out. So I've started doing this thing where I take myself out to dinner and I don't have my kids right now. Their dad has them. So, I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on. I honestly wasn't gonna put makeup on, but if I was actually going out, a out on a date, I would. So I'm like, I need to do the same even if I'm just taking myself out on a date. And I thought it would be fun to get ready and talk about dating as a single mom. I have been a single mom since February. And it's not like, oh, poor you. No, I chose to leave the relationship that I was in. And it was a really fucking hard several months, but... So we have one of the extremely rare occasions in which a woman uh, decides to leave the family. Uh, really rare, extremely, you know, occasionally it happens, but... Modern women overall most known for their devotion to their husbands, uh, most known for their loyalty and their ceaseless efforts 
to keep the family going. But, you know, sarcasm aside, no, we, we have yet another case in which a woman leaves a marriage, which is like most of the times. I, I always remember this statistic that what was like 80%, 70-80% of divorces are initiated by women. All the statistics are there, gentlemen, you can just check them in 5 seconds on Google. It's just woman nature facilitates uh, the, this modern phenomenon that is women... Let me phrase that again. Women being so entitled nowadays, nowadays is facilitated uh, by female nature to, you know, always look for something better, which is something good in some occasions. I value that. I appreciate that in women. Uh, when you have a good traditional woman, that desire of her to keep improving things is actually something that can help you better the relationship or, you know, be, be more close to each other. It's a good thing, right? Uh, but when taken too far, and these women do take it too far, uh, it becomes a vice. They, they just are never pleased with anything. It's impossible to satisfy them. Uh, they will break the relationship for any reason at all. It's, it's, it's like almost impossible, man, to, to be with most women nowadays. And this is why so many guys are deciding, I'm not going to get married. What for? I mean most common scenario you're just gonna divorce me and take away my kids and my property but i can honestly say that now i am in a much better place i am so happy um i love my life my kids and i just moved back to arizona where they were born yeah so me 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 i got a divorce and i'm better off now so it was worth it I think that these women should think from time to time, uh, not, not whether if they could do something, but if they should do something. Not everything that makes you feel better in the most superficial, stupid way is actually something good. Because in this case, yeah, maybe you feel better, even though you're not and you're being delusional. Maybe you feel better, but that comes at the expense of your husband whom you've promised, you know, that you'll be till death do its part. Uh, it comes at the expense of your kids not seeing their father as often or at all, right? It, like, someone has to pay the price for you to feel better, which makes you a self-centered, self-absorbed a-hole. So what if we stop thinking about ourselves all the time and we focus a little more on someone else? Look, if you, if you don't want the responsibility uh, of having a marriage don't have a marriage, right? It's that easy. You want to be single all the time. You want to jump from chat to chat. All right, do that. Don't hook another person into your life only to then, a few years later, divorce him and take away his children. I, d I don't understand these people, guys. It really shows how egoistical they are. They don't care if they've promised something on the altar. They don't care about the children. They don't care about the person they supposedly love. Uh, they just want to feel better. When they feel single, they get married. Uh, when they feel like they can get something better, they just divorce. Right? That's it. It's it's an endless pursuit uh, of their own happiness. You know, people who n constantly chase after their happiness, they're never happy and never satisfied. And their dad is here and he's in their life and it's just... Things are just going really good. While this might be the hardest year of my life, I think it's honestly probably gonna be one of the best years of my life because I have and am transforming into the person I've always wanted to be. Um, so I'm really thankful for the challenges that this year has brought. I am not at all ready to date. Like, I would be disrespecting myself if I went on a date for like so many different reasons in no particular order. First off, I am like not completely over my ex. I made a lot of progress, but we still working on that. Second of all, I have like really, really specific financial goals for myself um, that are obviously going to benefit me, but more so my kids. Um, I have a business that I had when we were living in New York and I am or I have relaunched it here but it's basically kind of like starting over and I want that to become my main form of income. I'm working two jobs 
and I just relaunched my balloon business. And in order for me to do that, um, having two with having two little kids is really hard to do. So any extra time that I do have is really going into um, my financial goals. Third, my kids are my priority. And right now I literally have no time. Like I took the night off actually from work tonight um, because I my eye is literally twitching. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, we just moved here two weeks ago and it has been an adjustment, a lot of running around, um, a lot of transitions. So what I'm doing right now is very rare. Um, I like am making time for myself because I know I'm gonna go batshit crazy if I don't. And also, lastly, like I am in a healing journey. Um, yeah, before we continue with the usual healing journey, uh, sh she mentions that her priorities are her finances and work and her children, yet she makes free time for herself. Like, you would think that a person who has some free time would invest that into your, your business or invest that into your children. There's always something to do around. Uh, but she does that for herself, which doesn't come as a surprise really after already noticing that this woman is quite self-absorbed. You really thought about your children that much. If they were your first priority, you probably wouldn't, you wouldn't divorce, right? And now, of course, someone may come and say, oh, he done, maybe she was mistreated, maybe... She was getting beaten every day. No, guys, it's the usual reason. I'm 99% sure uh, that she got divorced because irreconcilable differences or uh, because, I don't know, he was putting more time into work than her or like some really little and stupid problem that could be solved by having a bunch of conversations uh, instead of just divorcing him, right? But, I mean, we've come to learn that this is what... A lot of women nowadays find as a solution. You know, women who think that the whole world revolves around them, their solution is whenever I face something that I don't like, I just take myself out of there. I don't, I don't try to fix it. I don't try to improve myself. We're far away from that. No accountability. It's just when I, when I meet, stumble upon something I don't like, I'm out of there. I can find something better. And this is how these women end up alone, to be honest with you guys. But please leave me your thoughts down in the comments. We'll end the video right here. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.